Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this picture and wanted to know how that could be created in Corel Draw. Well, it can be kind of created in Corel Draw. We can't do pinks or whites, but you can do blacks and grays. And I just I've done it right there, and it, I think it looks pretty good. It would engrave really good. So I picked a font that's really close to it. So if the person I'm doing the video for, if it has to be perfect. You could search around, but this font is almost perfect. You could actually play around with this and get this slope to go the other direction like that one. That's about the only difference in the slope. You could make it look like it or, or possibly find that font. So what we want to do, we want to take this font. We want to set our, it's, um, it's like 1.2 inches. So we want to set our nudge distance on 2 inches. And we want to go ahead and make a duplicate of that just in case we mess up. And then we want to control D and we want to nudge it down one time. We're going to go over here and left click, no fill, right click, outline. You need to control K, which is going to break it apart. Then you need to select it all, go up to a range and convert it to a curve. When you've done that, you can create a border. So don't worry about that the inside parts are gone because it didn't really hurt us. So we're going to see if we got a border, and we do. All the interior parts are gone. We're going to take and go to effects and contour, and we're going to contour 0.1 to the outside and we've got that now we're going to left click and we're going to control K again to break the contour part which is also in a range and break contour part but because I've already done it it's it's not there anymore we've got our contour we're going to grab the inside and move down because we really just want the outside there you have a contour around, and you could play with, uh, I use 0.1, and it all depends on how big you draw this in scale. We do not need any of this anymore. We'll just delete it and get it out of the way. And we're, we're ready to start on the other part. Now to make it a little easier to think about it, I'm going to take the inside text and I'm going to move it down twice. I'm going to move this about where it was on the other one. And you have that. Now you can do a lot of things here, but what I would suggest doing, let me get these out of the way. We're going to need that space over there. I would take my Smart Fill tool and fill in that spot. Actually, might as well go fill it in with black. And nudge it over four inches. So we hit. I hit the, the right arrow key twice. Now, after you use the Smart Fill tool, it's always a good idea to go get your pick tool. Because if you if you hit right here with your Smart Fill tool, it's going to try to fill up the whole page. Select both your items and left click the No Fill, right click and Outline. And now we can take and take this one. And we're going to contour this time to the inside at point one. We're going to grab this one, contour to the inside point one. <clears throat> now we can actually take away this L. So I'm just going to cursor it over. That's what I like about the nudge distance. I'm going to hit it twice and it's going to be right back where it needed to be. I'm going to take my Leander and put it right there. And then you can just play around with your colors. I'm going to smart fill the outside in a black. I'm going to smart fill the inside of the L with a gray. So just go to your smart fill tool right here and put on a light gray. And then there are several things you could do here. You could uh, smart fill this outside. Whoop. Let me back up here and get a little closer. Zoom in. Yeah. 
You could do two things. You could smart fill that in with a gray. Or another possibility was well, back up here. You could take this outline color, click on your outline, go down here and right click, double click, turn it into black and turn it into, let's say two points. That looks pretty good. So I'm, I messed this one up, but I think this one I did for the video is actually better. That one engraved really good and looked really good. And let's do our yellow box trick. Fill it in with yellow and put it in the back of the page. And you can see it's all transparent. Only what needs to be engraved is going to engrave. Now, this is one of those situations that I would put it on your page. And I would actually engrave this twice. I would engrave all the black. And because the, the gray is separate I would put this off my page I'm going to click that one over one more time and I would engrave this all in black and then you could do two things you could select it and hold down the shift key and put them back and then run a selected if your printer driver doesn't have that then you just need to move this out of the way you might want to put an indexing line right there so you'll know that you're there because we're going to move this over and up out of the way and we're going to move this over and then run that job again. So run this at 100 power 70 speed and run this at 100 power at 90 speed. And it's, it's going to be lighter because it's gray, but the, way, the reason I like doing that after it's done, the black will already be there. You'll be able to see what it looks like. But if, if the gray is just not dark enough, you can run it again. Run the gray again and get a little bit darker. So you could actually start off with a lesser color of a gray. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.